Hi, I'm Gianna and welcome to my channel. Today I am doing an old Hollywood glamour makeup tutorial. This is a very sought after look in the salon with my clients for proms and brides. This is also a really common look on the red carpet. So if you want to learn how to do this fun makeup look, just keep watching and please subscribe for more videos. I'm going to start off with my eyebrows. I figured I would just get those out of the way. I'm just going to fill them in like I usually do, but just make sure they're nice and defined. If you want to see a more detailed tutorial on how I fill my brows in, you can go to my How To series and uh, check out my brow tutorial, and then that will list uh, step by step. So now I'm going to prime my lids for shadow, and while I do that, I am also going to just clean up my brows underneath. So typically with Old Hollywood Glamour, um, the shadow they use is more of a matte look. So I am just going to do a really nice defined eye with matte shadows. So I'm just going to use really neutral shades and I'm going to do a nice bold winged liner and some fun lashes. So I'm going to use um, the Anastasia Narvina palette. So there's some really fun colors in here, but there's also really great neutrals too. So I'm just going to use a few of these shades in this look. I am going in first with the shade Incense. It's just like a nice like light brown. It's a great transition shade. It's a little warm, but not too reddish or orange. So I'm going to apply that right in the crease starting in the outer corner and just working my way in and just really blending that out and then don't worry if you get any fallout or if it gets a little messy underneath that's why we do the eyes first because once we go in and do our foundation and concealer, it's going to just clean all of that up. So you want to go in little circular motions as well as windshield wiper motions. So it'll just really blend everything out really nicely. Gonna also take a little bit of that underneath the bottom lash line. So now I'm going to take a smaller brush for the crease. And I am going in with the shade Volatile. So that is just a little bit darker and a little bit of a cooler tone. So that's going to give you that really nice shadow and shading in the crease. So it's going to make your eye look bigger and just make that crease look a little deeper. So I'm just applying that a little bit lower in the crease and not buffing it out as much. So this is just going to give a little definition.
And I'm also not taking the color too far inward. I'm just kind of stopping about halfway. And making sure it's really blended. So now I'm going back in with that uh, the same brush that I applied the eyeshadow primer with. So I'm not going to put any more product on there, but I'm just going to kind of clean up on the eyelid where I'm going to place a lighter shade. So I'm just going to kind of like take some of that shadow just to brighten that up a little bit again. So then when I place that lighter shade, it really pops. So some people will really reapply concealer eyeshadow base um, to give a really cut crease but I'm trying to create more of a wearable old Hollywood glamour look where it's not super costume looking so something like this you could definitely wear um, to a wedding a prom night out just giving a little more definition to the lid without doing a super harsh line. Now that that's cleaned up a little bit, I'm going to go in with this shade called Base. So it's just a nice um, matte kind of creamy white tone. So it's just going to just brighten up that lid and give it a little more definition. So I'm just placing that on a flat eyeshadow brush and just packing that onto the lid. I'm just going about three quarters of the way in. Then I'm also applying that to the brow bone. So when you're applying a shade on your eyelid and you really want it to pop, you want to make sure you really press and pack that in. You don't want to like blend and swipe because that's you're not going to get as much color payoff. So again, going underneath the brow. And then now I'm going to go back in with uh, that fluffy shadow brush just to diffuse that line between the light and the dark. So now I'm going to apply my winged eyeliner is definitely a staple with the old Hollywood look. It just really makes your eyes look glamorous. And if you want to see more in-depth tutorial on how I do my winged eyeliner, you can also watch my winged eyeliner tutorial. So that will give you a little bit more uh, specifics in how I do this. But for now, I'm just going to apply it.
Okay, so after the shadow and the liner is on, I am going to apply false eyelashes. I am using um, House of Lashes. Um, lashes in the style boudoir. I figured that would be a really good option for this kind of look. They're really fluffy um, and wispy, but a little bit glamorous and dramatic. So I am going in and applying my lashes and again if you want to know how I apply fake lashes in a more in-depth way you can head on over to my tutorial for that. And I am going to list all of the products that I use down below as well as my other videos that will teach you some of these techniques that I'm using with this tutorial. So I just put a little glue on my lash. Um, so while that is getting tacky, I'm just going to quickly apply little bit of mascara just to make the lashes blend really well with my natural lashes so now that I have my lashes applied and my shadow on and eyebrows done um, I am going to do the skin now so I'm starting off with uh, the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. So I'm just going to uh, mist that all over my skin before I apply my primer and foundation. So this, this is just going to, this is just going to give me a little extra glow underneath my foundation. I'm just going to kind of block my eyes as well so it doesn't affect the glue. I am going in with the Too Faced um, Hangover Primer. Just gonna apply that all over the skin. And now I'm going in with my Beauty Blender Bounce Foundation. This foundation is pretty buildable. I usually just go in with a light layer and then I'll just do another little half pump after that's all blended out just to give myself a little more coverage where I need it, where I get a little more red. Now that my foundation is on, I am going to just use a little bit of a color corrector underneath my eyes because I have really dark circles. So I'm just going in with the Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector. So I'm just going to take a little dab of that on my ring finger and just pat it into where my eyes are the darkest. So now I am going in with my concealer. I am going to highlight my face as well as conceal any areas that need to be covered up. So I'm going in with the trusty Tarte Shape Tape. So I'm now going to set 
my concealer and set the foundation. So I am going in with the Too Faced Born This Way translucent powder. I love this powder, it's so nice. It's not too matte, um, but it doesn't give you much of a shine either. It just has um, a really nice natural finish and it makes you just look really airbrushed. So I put a little bit of powder on my brush and just tap off the excess. Now I am just going to press this in to the areas that I want to set. So I'm mostly just setting this into my T-zone. So underneath the eyes, center of the forehead, nose and chin. And just right underneath the nose where you get those smile lines. And I really like to press this into the skin and not swipe it because you don't want to move around that liquid product that you just applied. So now I am going in with bronzer to start contouring. So I'm using the Motives Cosmetics 3-in-1 Contour Palette. So I'm going in with this warmer shade first and I am going to start bronzing up my skin where I want to contour. If you want to see a more in-depth highlighting contouring tutorial, I did film that, so I will link that below. Now I am going in with this cooler tone shade, so that is going to really chisel everything and uh, create more of a shadowed effect to really shape the face. So I'm going to just blend that right in to where I bronzed, and that's just going to give more definition. Definitely with that old Hollywood glamour, you, de you really want um, a lot of definition and you just really want to enhance all of your features. I'm going to go in with some blush. I'm using a Tarte blush. Uh, it's called Feisty. It's a nice mauve rose tone, so it's not going to look too bright or too pink, but it's going to add a little color. I am going to define all of that contour underneath the cheekbones by just putting a little bit of that setting powder on my beauty sponge and I'm just going to clean all that up. So now I'm going to go in and wipe all that excess powder away. And 
just blend out all the other areas that we applied bronzer and blush. Now I am going to apply a highlighter. I'm using the Becca highlighter in pearl. It's just a nice bright white pearly highlighter. So it's really gonna make your cheekbones pop. And I'm also applying this highlighter in the inner corner of my eye. And then just to really make the eyes pop, I'm going to apply a little bit of white eyeliner in my um, waterline. So that's really going to make the eyes look really open and bright. Now I'm just gonna go in and set my brows and apply the lip color. So a bold, a bold red lip is really um, a signature piece of the old Hollywood glamour look. So I am going in with this really beautiful dark red shade. It is um, a Maybelline Super Stay Matte Ink. These are awesome. They seriously stay really well. Uh, so this is great for if you have an event to go to, a wedding, a prom, it's really gonna stay all night. It's not gonna get on your teeth, it's not gonna kind of bleed anywhere. So I love this formula for a dark, bold lip. And the matte look is definitely a signature for the old Hollywood look. So I'm going in with this color. I'm not gonna apply a liner. I've learned over time that these liquid lipsticks they actually work better without a liner because the liners have wax in them so they will bleed a little bit whereas if you just use the liquid lip it's going to last you all night and it's not going to bleed because of the way um, the formula is. That I applied the lipstick, I'm gonna go in and just clean everything up and define it with a little bit of concealer on a flat brush. So because this lipstick is so dark and so matte, you have to be really precise with it if you want it to look good. So I'm just going in with a little bit of my Shape Tape Concealer on a flat concealer brush. And I'm just lining the outside of my lip.
I'm going in with really, really minimal product, so you don't want this to be too heavy with the concealer, but just enough to clean up the edge. Now that that is all cleaned up, I'm just going to use a setting spray to just lock everything in. This is really important, especially if you're going to an event, because it helps your makeup to last all night. And it also just takes that little bit of powdered look to your skin, and it just makes it look more skin-like. So I use the Motives Cosmetics 10 Years Younger Setting Spray. That's my favorite. That's my go-to. And this is the final makeup look. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to leave comments and questions below. I'd love to hear from you. And keep watching for more tutorials.